Hello students, welcome to this agriculture lesson on the topic farm power and machinery. Uh, in our last lesson we were able to learn about uh, tractor power as one of the sources of power on the farm and we were able to define a tractor engine as a mechanical device that is able to convert the chemical energy in the fuel into heat energy and eventually into a mechanical energy that is able to provide the traction for the tractor to move. Now, we were also able in the last lesson to look at the various parts of an engine, uh, the crankcase, the crankshaft, the combustion cylinder, the uh, spark plug, and uh, even the piston. And uh, based on the movement of the piston within the cylinder, we were able to classify engines into two so that we have four stroke cycle engines and two stroke cycle engine and in this lesson we are going to learn about uh, the four stroke cycle engine and uh, as is suggested by the title these are engines that uh, in one cycle the piston moves four times to make four strokes so one power cycle consists of four strokes and the four strokes that uh, consist one cycle to produce power are named as follows we have the induction stroke uh, the compression stroke power stroke and exhaust strokes this uh, naming is basically a description of what happens in each stage and these strokes as we shall learn they happen uh, very many of them within a second uh, so that power is produced within the engine. Now, uh, in our last lesson, we uh, learned about the parts of an engine which we'll need to recap as we go into the uh, description of the working mechanism of the four-stroke cycle engine. One of them is the piston, and the piston has the piston head uh, with the piston rings. We have the compression rings and then the oil rings. And then the piston will be connected to the crankshaft by the connecting rod. This is the connecting rod. We learned about that last time. And the crankshaft is a shaft or is a rod um, with the cranks, some kind of bends, so that it's able to uh, manipulate the movement of the piston or control the movement of the pistons to ensure that uh, some pistons will be up while others will be down at any given time. Then within the engine, we have the combustion chamber. Sorry, my diagram is not very clear. Uh, the combustion chamber with the piston moving uh, up and down within that chamber. This is a cutout uh, part of the cylinder. Uh, we have valves. Uh, one is the inlet valve to allow air fuel mixture into the combustion chamber. And then we also have the exhaust valve which allows the exhaust gases after the process of combustion to escape or to move out of the cylinder. Uh, then uh, the spark plugs are also an integral part of the uh, especially petrol engines, the spark plugs come in different designs and uh, sizes uh, to fit various engine uh, types. Now, as we already said, in a four stroke cycle engine, we have four strokes. Four strokes. A, a stroke is a movement, uh, describes the movement of the piston either down the cylinder or up the cylinder. Now, uh, here I have a model of. Uh, a four stroke cycle engine. Uh, we have the crankcase, it's just like a, it's a model to show the working mechanism of the engine. We have the crankcase within which we'll be having the lubrication oil to lubricate the crankshaft. Uh, then we have the piston, the piston represented here by the, the white parts, of course, it is cut out in this model. And the connecting rod, the connecting rod connects the piston to the crankshaft. Then we have the inlet valve, this valve here, that controls the opening of this uh, space here that will allow air fuel mixture into the combustion chamber. Then we also have the exhaust valve. Uh, the exhaust valve on this side uh, controls the opening of this part here that will allow exhaust fumes or gases to move out of the exhaust uh, of the combustion chamber after combustion process. Then we have a spark plug which will be producing spark 
to ignite the air fuel mixture. So uh, we'll be able to see how it works uh, in the four-stroke cycle engines. And uh, as we say, in, the in a four-stroke cycle engine, we have uh, two. We have four strokes. That means the piston moves four times, and the four uh, strokes. As we name them, we have the induction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. Uh, if you can see the movements there. Um, yes, once again, we can uh, see that. There is the induction stroke, and then compression stroke, then the power stroke, and then the exhaust stroke. Um, what really happens in each of those strokes? Now, during the induction stroke, the piston moves down the cylinder and uh, when it is moving down the cylinder, as, it is, as the piston is moving down the cylinder, the exhaust valve opens so that there is uh, a passage, uh, the, the passage is open through which air fuel mixture gets in. That's why it's called induction stroke. So the air fuel mixture gets in because of the increased volume that is occasioned by the piston moving down, it creates more space there, so there's increased volume and a decreased pressure. So uh, the air fuel mixture rushes in, yes, like that. Then, uh, after the air fuel mixture has gotten in and the piston has moved down, that is the end of the induction stroke, the second stroke is uh, called compression stroke, and as the name suggests, uh, the air fuel mixture that is above the piston head will be compressed, will be pushed and forced to occupy a smaller space within the combustion chamber. So uh, in the compression stroke, which is the second stroke, the piston will be moving upward and at that time but the two valves are closed such that the whole of the combustion chamber is airtight kind of, so that whatever got in the air fuel mixture will be compressed to occupy a smaller volume a smaller volume let's see how that happens yes the piston was moving up compressing whatever was above it and that compression uh, because the air fuel mixture is forced to occupy a smaller volume so there's a decrease in volume and an increase in pressure that increase in pressure causes collision of the uh, air fuel mixture and molecules involved and therefore there will be higher temperatures within the combustion chamber. Now moving to the third stroke, which we are calling power stroke, uh, the, the two valves will remain closed, then the spark plug will produce a spark, that is in uh, petrol engines, the spark plug produces spark, and that spark will ignite the air fuel mixture that was under very high pressure, and when that air fuel mixture uh, under high pressure is ignited, it, it, it burns up. So when there is combustion, the expansion of gases because of the increase in temperature will force the piston to move down. And we can see that uh, when the... Yes, it has already moved down. Uh, the... Piston... The, 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 uh, Spark plug has produced a spark, igniting the air fuel mixture which had been compressed and it is at very high pressure and therefore temperature and it ignites, burns and expands in volume. That expansion in volume uh, is the one that pushes the piston downward on power stroke. That is what we saw in the just a, a little while, I'll show you it again. And then uh, once the, the gases have burnt out, the air fuel mixture has burnt out as undergone combustion. The exhaust fumes will need to be expelled out. So in the fourth stroke, which you are calling the exhaust stroke, the piston will be moving up to push the exhaust gases out through the exhaust valve, which is already, which will be opened by that time, uh, so that the exhaust gases escape. So in the exhaust stroke, it is about the piston moving up to push the exhaust gases out. So by that time, the exhaust uh, valve will be open. So let's see that movement again. There is induction, compression, power, and exhaust. 
And uh, as I, I do that again, uh, we appreciate the direction in which the piston is moving. The first stroke is moving down, then it's moving up on the second, third, on a downward stroke, and then the fourth one is an upward stroke. Those are the four strokes of a four stroke cycle engine uh, induction, compression, power, and exhaust. Once again, induction, compression, power, and exhaust. And uh, we will be able to compare this with the two stroke cycle uh, engines in our next lesson. Uh, but we appreciate the fact that in a four stroke cycle engine, there are four strokes of the piston, that is four movements, a downward, an upward movement, a downward movement, and then finally an upward movement to complete one power cycle. And these four stroke cycle engines usually produce more power when compared to uh, two stroke cycle engines. And uh, with that, we come to the end of uh, this lesson, appreciating a four stroke cycle engine and all the four strokes that makes up one power cycle in which uh, there, is, uh, there are two revolutions of the crankshaft. When the piston moves four times, the crankshaft revolves twice. Thank you very much. See you in the next lesson.